I have to start by prefacing this whole video. It's not about my rank. Place me iron with people of my own skill level and I'll be happy. It's all about the general enjoyment of the game. Currently, that enjoyment is greatly affected by toxicity in voice chat and smurfing. In my games, around 1 out of 5 game is a legitimate, good, fun and fair game. 2 out of 5 is dead in the water due to toxicity and the other 2 out of 5 is out due to smurfing. Smurfs are really annoying to play with for a few reasons. One, it is incredibly hard to duel them, if even possible in some cases. Two, they'll just trash you with no respect whatsoever to you, delaying to defusal of the bomb as long as they can, dancing on your body when they win, etc. And three, they'll completely disregard how the game should be played. An example, tactical and calculated movement. They'll either run in completely destroying you when peaking angles, or they'll ask some teammate to like suicide for them just so they can get all the glory. It makes enjoying the game really hard, even though it has nothing to do to how the game is designed and balanced. All games suffer from smurfing. That is a fact. I'm not about to deny that. But at least other games have some sort of approach against smurfs. Games like Rainbow Six and Overwatch have a paywall. League of Legends has a grindy leveling system or a number of champions you need in order to even access ranked. League of Legends also has smurf queues and CSGO has trust factor and prime matchmaking to at least impair the problem of smurfing. Let's start by talking money. Rainbow Six and Overwatch requires you to pay the game another time if you want a smurf account. The closest thing we have to that in Valorant is the cost of a ranked ready account. So now let's compare the cost of a few games per their entry fee. Valorant, League of Legends, Rainbow Six, Overwatch. Notice that I didn't cover CSGO. CSGO is a particular case because it went from paid to play to free to play and you can ask pretty much any CSGO player that played before the swap happened and they will all say that the quality of the matches went down once CSGO went to free to play. The exact same happened with Rocket League. So yes, the lower the entry fee, the worse the smurfing problem will be. And that brings me to point number two, having a grindy leveling system before you reach rank. Since the game doesn't have a paywall and probably won't ever, then you have to look at the purchasing of ranked ready accounts. Side note, you shouldn't ever buy one, because technically you could and should get banned for sharing accounts. There is a number of ways to detect that, IP address, shortcuts, differential, play pattern, how the account was leveled up, and retroactive bans. Because yes, you could pay that account and get it revoked super quickly just because Riot noticed something fishy going on with it. Those long and grindy sequences will drive up the cost of the account, as shown earlier by the comparison between the LOL rank ready accounts and Valorant rank ready accounts. The only counter argument I heard against those grindy sequences is that it will hurt the experience of new players and they probably won't stick around because they might just want the competitive thrill that comes with the game. Without even addressing the fact that that statement is flawed from the get-go because said competitive experience will be greatly impacted by how many smurfs they will encounter, there is still the argument that the legitimate new player has all the reasons in the world to stick around unrated for longer. Ruining your placement matches and getting stuck in the demotivating low R gains and high RR losses just because you jumped in too early? you might get locked out of the one or two characters you know how to play. Remember, you have a max of 7 agents after only 10 unrated wins, which means 4 of those might be picked by your fellow teammates, leaving you with only 3. And a general lack of knowledge of the game and end up being a weight to your teammates that might get salty against you, justifiably so too. This whole situation is even resumed best with one of my friends reaction to Apex Legends. He just hit level 10 and went, what? I can play ranked already? It surprised him so much because he didn't know much about the game, yet the developers thought it would be a good idea for him to jump into ranked. 
There are a number of systems that are meant to reduce the impact of Smurfs, but those only have such an effect. Let's say it bumps the account hidden MMR. The account still can match with his buddies that he's boosted, and if he ends up higher, just throw away the account and make another one. The cost of the accounts are so low that it doesn't really matter if it gets too high. They can just rotate through accounts. The guy just started throwing to tank his MMR. He got temporarily banned. Next account. And that's the exact same problem with toxic players. But that's beside the scope of this video. Now let's go through a few arguments that people use to downplay smurfing. Oh, I'm just creating a new account to play with my friends. This is a terrible argument. The mode you should be playing with your friends is unrated. It is there for that very purpose. It's also part of the reason why unrated looks like a bunch of people are just grinding to ranked in there, throwing matches to lower their MMR, bots grinding to have an account to sell. It's just plain bad. Yeah, but that's not that uncommon anyway. There's already plenty of smurfs around. Yeah, it is not uncommon to make that acceptable. If four player are body blocking you in spawn, is that acceptable because you are in the minority? Uh, my friends just want to play comp, so I'm playing comp with them. So you are effectively boosting them in the ladder, ruining the experience for the five players in front of you in that very game, and the nine players that will have to play with your friends when they click queue alone, and that is for every single match you play with them. Oh, uh, it's not smurfing because you're close to your mine account anyway, it's not because you smurf in gold and you're platinum that, is, that it is smurfing. No, sorry, it is still smurfing. You are still playing on a separate account that is lower than your main, that will screw the matchmaking regardless. If the matchmaker judges that gold should be able to play with bronzes, but you create a smurf that end up in silver, you can then play with people lower than you the rank that you should be able to play with, ruining the games for the others. Isaac Lopez Cordell made that point very clear. In real life, you wouldn't see a black belt compete in a blue belt tournament. That would be disgusting and effectively ruining the experience of other fighters, ruining their chances to win the thing. Oh, but you should try to take that as an opportunity to learn while playing against a smurf. If you want to learn from I ranked, it shouldn't be in a competitive environment. It should be in a sparring environment. I wonder what that could be in Valorant, huh? Maybe the guy is just having a good game, you know? Yeah, that's completely fair, and that will be the case sometimes. But you can still tell when someone is smurfing when his literal name is Smurfmaster13, or he's in streamer mode, installing Rain or Jet. And even sometimes they will admit it openly in chat when being asked and then say, oh, I'm just like trying to get my friend out of iron. With all of that said, there is, a, there is at least one argument that I can take from them and say, yeah, that's fair. Smurfs are preventing me to hit my deserved ranked. There is at least one player that is a common factor between all your games, and that is you. If you are ranked at a certain level, well, it's not only because of smurfs, it's also partly because of how you play. Which is annoying to remind everyone, because like, it makes the competitive environment into a grinding environment instead of a competitive one. Like, You're going to hit your deserved rank at some point in the future, but you have to grind so much to get through all of those smurfs, get some with you, some against you, and you're less in control of your rank. And that is the annoying part. It just affects the general enjoyment of the game for everyone. And that should absolutely be addressed. Especially since, if you're not cheating, you can effectively dodge any punishment thrown your way by just creating another account. Isaac Lopez Cordell made this whole 40 minutes video going in depth on that very subject. It's worth it from A to Z. My video is highly inspired from his, so please give it a watch. I just wanted to make this one as short as possible to make sure we can reach as many people as we can.